Hi, I'm Hank from the YouTube channel SciShow. One of the best things about science is that by learning just one idea, you can understand all sorts of things, from the very big to the very small. For example, if you know how gravity works, you'll understand both why baseballs fall to the ground and why huge planets go around their stars. This activity is another example of that, except instead of learning about gravity, we're going to learn about tornadoes. It's time to make a tornado in a bottle. For this activity, you need two clear plastic water bottles, some water, and a plastic connector. First, fill one of the bottles two-thirds of the way full with water. There's also some glitter you can put in so you can keep your eye on everything. And then we've got just a barn and a cow. But don't put the cow in your bottle, because he'll sink and then he'll clog it up. He's a spectator. He's watching. He's not in danger. Then screw on the plastic connector. Next, attach the second bottle to the other end of the plastic connector. Make sure it's on tightly. When you're ready, quickly turn the bottles over so that the empty bottle is on the bottom of your little tower here. Place the tower on a flat surface so that it does not leak. Nothing is happening. Why is nothing happening? Try and predict why nothing is happening with this multiple choice question. A. The plastic connector is broken. B. The bottom bottle is full of air. C. The water isn't heavy enough to fall. Or D. The plastic connector is sealed shut. Okay, to answer the question, let's see if we can get things going. With one hand, hold on to the connector. And with the other hand, grab the bottle and start swirling it around as if you're stirring something. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. When I first turned over the bottles, nothing really happened. That's because the bottom bottle was full of air, and there was no room for the water from the top bottle to come inside. When I started swirling the bottles, though, that changed. I made a gap in the top bottle for air to come inside, and once the bottom bottle wasn't totally full of air, that let the water fall down and swirl like a tornado. This activity might have looked like a tornado, but these storms form differently in nature. Tornadoes form when the air air near the ground starts spinning. And that happens because hot air rises and cold air sinks. So if you get a bunch of air rising and falling, you get a swirling tube. Eventually, that tube gets pushed up on one side by more rising air, and that allows it to become a vertical tornado. Thanks for experimenting with me.